Now, children with life-limiting illnesses have released their very own CD to mark the 25th anniversary of Children's Hospice Southwest. Music therapy is one of the highlights for many of the children at the hospices in Devon, Cornwall and Bristol. Well, now, with a little help from family and friends, they've chosen and performed 30 tracks for the special CD, which will help raise money for the charity. Spotlight's Andrea Ormsby has the story. Music makes Sam smile. For Sam, it's, he doesn't have any vocabulary, he can't say words, but with music, he seems to come alive. And Caroline's just been amazing in that she's worked with him over so long. She's got to know him, what he likes, and what actually will get him to open up. Sound of a big bass drum. I think I've got the best job in the world to, to be able to offer children a space in which they can actually really offer something of themselves. Sam's song is the first of the 30 tracks recorded by the children and their friends and family. It's just amazing to think that my son is on a CD, it's just magical, but the fact that it's something that we can treasure forever, it's a memory that's there forevermore now and we can share that with all our family and it's just been so special for Sam to be involved and for us to be part of that. Singing Bridge Over Troubled Water is the Children's Hospice Southwest Joint Choir singing together for the first time after just 20 minutes rehearsal. It's one thing that we can do to add to that precious treasure chest of memories that families accumulate while they're staying with us, on their journey with us. It's, it's been absolutely tremendous. And the CD, we just want to share with everybody because it's got some magical things on there. And this is Bethany's track. Wind chimes are her favourite sound ever. The children have chosen the songs because they have a very significant meaning for them. So it might be that it's their sister's favourite song. It might be a song that a parent has written yeah. in memory um, of their child who has died. So the booklet really, I think, has to be read alongside listening to all the beautiful contributions. Even a world-renowned countertenor is on the CD. Yeston Davies says he was delighted to contribute. The CD costs five pounds and can be ordered from the Children's Hospice Southwest website. All proceeds go to the charity, which needs to raise nearly 10 million pounds a year to keep the three hospices going. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Barnstable.